What's going on everyone? Jack here at the Mindful Homestead. It is bright and early on a beautiful Saturday morning. And it's maybe 32 degrees right at freezing. Uh, we've been collecting sap for almost a week now. Uh, it's been pretty slow the last few days because it's been really cold. But today is the first day that we're going to boil. So I've got my pan. It's just a stainless steel chafing dish. Um, we're going to head over to the evaporator. Uh, we're going to check and make sure that thing's level before we get it fired up. We're going to load it up with wood and we're going to start boiling some sap and see how it goes. Cool. We'll check in over there. So what I'm gonna do here is check my evaporator for level. It doesn't have to be perfectly level. We're not boiling huge amounts and I don't anticipate coming up very high on the sides of this pan, but um, I'm just gonna pour some water in the pan and see where it settles. Uh, you could use a level if you had one. I do have one at somewhere, I'm not gonna pull it out. But all I'm gonna do is fill this up with a couple gallons of water. It's a little bit to the back. So what I'm gonna do is try and level this thing out as best I can. Um, I might even be able to do that with just the pan. Yeah, we'll play with this a little bit and see what we can get it dialed in as. All right, so I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but we've got this thing what I would consider good enough. So now what I'll do is I'll go get the bucket of sap, I'll dump this water out of here, we'll get this thing loaded up with wood, pan filled with sap, and uh, we'll fire it up. <laughs> So we have a little bit of an issue here. I don't know if you can see it, but the other day when I was pulling this thing out with the Kubota, 
I'll link that video up here. I nicked the side panel of this stove and I actually put a hole in it. Um, I fired it up. I didn't think it would be an issue. I thought I'd be able to get the fire to burn from front to back and this was just going to be a little bit of added air. But as it's turning out, it wants to burn from the back forward and our pan is up on the front. So we've got some foil tape. I'm going to stick some on there and see if I can seal it up. So now all we do is wait really. Once the sap gets up to temperature and starts boiling, I'll just keep an eye on it and keep it tap, uh, topped off. You don't want to let it get too low in the pan, otherwise you risk scorching it, which is no good. Nobody likes burnt syrup. Otherwise at this point it's just a waiting game. Uh, you got to keep the fire topped off, keep it going. The sap in the pan will just keep reducing and we'll keep adding sap to the top of it. Eventually we'll get to a point where it'll start to turn brown and syrupy like the stuff that you're used to. And at that point we'll actually pull the pan off the evaporator and finish it on the stove inside. That way we can do a precise temperature check on it. All right, let's go check on things and see how we are progressing. So we're boiling pretty well at this point. I had to build a windscreen out of tin foil, as you can see around the side. The wind was whipping pretty good and this was really taking a long time to come up to temperature and it's holding in a lot more heat now. Uh, we're able to get this thing boiling and get it cranking pretty good. So at this point we're up and boiling. Uh, I'm going to add some more firewood down to the bottom, but already just in the 20 minutes that this has been boiling, I can already smell the smell of maple syrup in the steam, which is pretty awesome. So um, yeah, let's put some wood on this thing and keep it going. Uh, the temperature's falling. It's about 20 degrees now. The wind has picked up, and if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm totally miserable out here. This is not fun right now. I picked 
a, the wrong day to start boiling sap off. We've got about seven gallons of sap that we boiled down to about one gallon. And what we're gonna do is in a little bit, I'm gonna let it go a little longer, but I'm gonna take this and pour it off into a pot that I have next to me on the ground. And that pot's got a colander in the top of it. And I have a piece of filter cloth uh, on top of that colander. So what we'll do is we'll take this off, we'll pour it in there, we'll filter it out and we'll store it. Uh, and then we can finish boiling this off on the stove probably tomorrow. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. I may boil again. Jackie's got the wood stove going inside and it's been super nice for her all day and Emma just hanging out by it and I've been really jealous. Let's go bring this inside. So that seems like a pretty good place to end today's video. We've got all that concentrated sap inside now. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out the other collaboration videos that we're doing with Homesteading with the Heberts and Lost Nation Homestead. Uh, I think we were the first to start boiling and probably the dumbest of the group. I shouldn't have boiled today, it wasn't fun. Um, but go check out those other videos. Uh, we'll have another video up soon of us finishing the syrup and uh that'll be start to finish homestead syrup for you in four parts thanks for watching have a great day bye